Even with all the melting that's been going on, there's still quite a bit of snow in the Northeast. In Millbank, the high school track team hasn't been able to practice on their track because it's been buried in about two feet of snow. And that is until volunteers took matters into their own hands. We just got sick and tired of waiting on Mother Nature. So they put spring on the fast track by rounding up about 35 to 40 volunteers and threw a snow shoveling party at the high school track. I sent out a text to a group of parents and I threw something on Facebook and that was it. They used shovels and snowblowers, but one man brought his John Deere tractor and that was a blessing. That kind of saved our tail because he was able to go into those middle lanes. That snow was so heavy. So to try to shovel it and throw it off the track when you're standing in the middle of the track would have been a real shoulder buster. Up until now, Townsend says to practice, the track team had to be kind of creative. We were inside in the gym, in the hallways, in the school, um, a little bit, you know, the distance runners were able to go outside a little bit, but that was kind of even minimal because the roads weren't even that great. It took about three hours and a lot of willpower to clear the entire track. They say the next day they were sore, but in the end, it was worth it. You know, there's always that whole expression of many hands make light work, although the work was not light, <laughs> but I think as you, we were going, um, you would look down some parts of the, the track, you'd look down the home stretch and you'd see everybody working and you'd kind of feel like, Ooh, okay, there's, there's a whole nother side. There's a whole curve to go. But by the time people got to the other side, it was like, holy smokes, I can't believe we did that. Honestly, prior to th this even all going on, I was hoping we could get the first you know, just one lane cleared off to be able to practice. When community members come together, especially when you have varying ages like that, there's always that sense of community. This is why we live here. This is what we do. And Townsend says that now the issue might be getting to the track because of all the standing water around it. Oh, that is so much snow. And